Introducing Nux Schedule. I'm here to put you back on schedule. We will proceed on schedule. Right on schedule. To start, add Nux Schedule using your favorite package manager. I'm using Yarn, you can use whatever you like. Now, as we do every module, we'll add it to the Nux configuration. If you don't already have one, go ahead and add a plugins directory to your server directory. From there, you can add in your very first scheduler. For this example, I'll add a mail scheduler so I can schedule my emails. To speed things up, let's go to the GitHub repository so I can show you what I do best as a programmer, copy and paste. Of course, you can import anything you want and use that within the scheduler, but I'll go ahead and get rid of this because we don't need it just to console log. And notice, I can use every second, which is very human readable, and there's also many other choices to choose from. For example, I can use cron just as it is, and then I could also do one second this way. But there are many, many options that are human readable, and for the most part, I think you'll get by with those. We can do every day, every four hours, every minute, every minute, and then you can add in however many minutes you want, or in this case, every seconds, and in this case, we'll do every two seconds. So we expect this to run every two seconds once we run yarn dev. Let me go ahead and adjust that there. Instead of I run every one second, we'll say I run every two seconds because I don't like to use S's and I'm not gonna redo this video in order to add one. All right, so let's see, moment of truth. Is it going to work? And we should have something running every two seconds and we do i hope you enjoy this package or this module and if you want to improve it go ahead and make a pull request i will see you in the next one